Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum. All right my friends, so here for our time frame, you see the pullback is playing out. We had in here in my own indicator a sell signal flashing in the three hour time frame. That's why I closed most of my longs already. I have a very tight stop loss uh, just with the rest of my position. But overall, I think the move is over for now and we most likely gonna see a retracement back down towards the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame, which currently is lining up here at around $41,000. So this is where most likely I gonna re-enter into a long position then because I'm still pretty confident that we could reach $60,000 maybe even within this week. But of course on the way up, we always gonna see some uh, pullbacks. The question is only where is good to open up again long position, where we should have a nice support and this is also where we should keep an eye on to then scale in a nice long position or buy even more Bitcoin. So in my own indicator, usually we are trading also over on Discord the three hour time frame, which currently is giving a sell signal that indicates that most likely we will see this retracement at least down towards a nine or 20 moving average in the three hour. But even better is to keep an eye here in the four hour time frame, because here usually the 20 moving average in the four hour is a very strong support during an uptrend. So this moving average right now is here at $41,000. But at the time that this uh, sell signal is playing out and also this pullback is playing out, most likely we are coming up here towards the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement at around $42,600. This is where I'm gonna start again to scale in some nice long positions, especially if you're getting here another buy signal, because then we would bounce in a very important key level here. If this was the local top here at $48,000, we come down to confirm the new support at $42,000, which previously was also our old all time high. And then we should gear up again for another big move to the upside and our target is still at around $60,000 since we broke out from this uh, falling wedge or bull flag that we were in here last month. So the measurement here of this breakout would bring us towards $60,000. So the four hour time frame looked like that we're gonna have this uh, pullback now. In the worst case scenario, we could even come down here towards the 200 moving average at $36,000. I don't think that we will go that low. So I think it's already safe to scale in some longs here once we're gonna bounce from the 20 moving average in the four hour. And, and it is important that we continue to close four hour candle above this important moving average average and also cool off here a bit the RSI and all the indicators. You see also here in the Bollinger Bands that we're starting here to close four hour candles within the Bollinger Bands. This usually indicates that we will have a retracement back down towards the two important moving averages here between $43,000 and $41,000. That's why I'm pretty confident that here we're going to have a bounce and then continue to the upside. Unless, of course, here we're gonna start to close four hour candles below 41,000, then this could mean that we will drop down again, potentially towards this $36,000, the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which always coinciding with the 200 moving average here in the four hour. So watch out for the next possible support where we're gonna bounce and start to close four hour candles because that could indicate a very good buy and long opportunity. And of course, if you're trading with my own indicator or over on this with this live stream that I have in Discord for a small donation, then of course wait for the three hour time frame to hit another buy signal. And if we go over now into the daily time frame, here you can also see that currently the nine moving average is right here at $39,000. So we could come down here to retest this important moving average before we continue to go higher, maybe even come down towards the 20 daily moving average at around $35,600. But overall, we are still in an uptrend and that's why you should consider to buy these retracements, to buy these dips that we are seeing on the way to the upside. Because as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine and 20 daily moving average, Bitcoin is still in an uptrend here in the daily and we should expect a big continuations to the 
upside of course also here in the daily we are looking a bit exhausted here we could also maybe get a sell signal pretty soon but overall we should expect a continuation to the upside there are still no big warning signs that we will drop today towards 30k or even lower so it looks like that we see this pullback now and then we're gonna continue to go higher and although if we go over into the weekly time frame everything is still looking very fine we are trading above all the moving averages and the nine weekly right now is here at 34,000, and the 20 weekly is right here at our previous resistance area which now should be a very strong support right here at 24,000 dollar so the bigger time frames are looking very bullish for Bitcoin and I'm expecting also that Bitcoin will outperform here all the altcoins in the next coming days and weeks because we have right now the Bitcoin dominance again increasing a lot. So we had a big bounce here at this important support level here of around 60%. We still could form here a possible head and shoulders pattern. So this could be the beginning of the right shoulder. But overall I'm expecting here continuation to the upside towards 66% and there we're going to see if Bitcoin is able again to go higher here in dominance or if here we are getting rejected to see then this right shoulder play out and then of course if we're gonna lose the support here at 60% that we're gonna see a huge altcoin season if we're gonna crash down here because the next support is then down here at around 50% percent so we could still see an altcoin season but as long as the dominance is rising up here bitcoin of course will outperform all the other altcoins and that's why it's good to be in bitcoin right now and now we can go over into the ethereum chart because uh, here also you can see that the ethereum is always creating new all-time highs almost every day and currently we are facing some very strong resistance here at around 1770 so as soon as we're gonna break out here to the upside and start to close four hour candles above 1770 I'm pretty confident that we will see two thousand dollar pretty soon potentially towards the end of this week maybe even go higher because if we are getting out here to the upside from the this uh, upwards trending channel then we were gonna see big fireworks here in the ethereum price but as long as we are moving within this channel I'm expecting the price to bounce here between uh, 2000 to 1600 dollar until we're gonna see a big breakout here to the upside or of course also breakout to the downside for the bearish scenario but also ethereum here is looking very fine also in the lower time frames even though we could also here see a possible retracement back down to the support at around 1560 and if we go over into the daily time frame also here you can see the main support at the nine daily moving average right now at 1600 dollar so as long as we're closing daily candles here above this important moving average also ethereum is looking very bullish and if we're gonna have a massive sell-off we could maybe come down towards the 20 daily here at 1460 which previously acted as a very strong resistance and now it should be acting as a very strong support and also here for the worst case scenario ethereum could even drop towards our previous resistance area which now also should be acting as a very strong support and this is down here at 600 dollar but this is only if really bitcoin would struggle now to go higher and potentially crash even below 30k so for the worst case scenario that bitcoin would go towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is down here at around $20,000, then I think Ethereum could also have a big crash towards $600. It's not very likely that it will happen, but of course it is still in the cards. As long as we have the 200 daily moving average in Bitcoin and also in Ethereum down here, in case of a massive sell-off we could still come down to those levels and then of course also bounce from it because we are still in a bull market and the 200 daily moving average always holds as a very strong support for the worst case scenario and also I gave a look yesterday into the stock to flow model with that pump that we have seen yesterday because we are still a bit too high based here on the stock to flow model price level because on the way up right now at the time of recording we should be at around $30,000 in Bitcoin. So usually whenever we are below the stock to flow model price it is good to buy and when we are way above it is good to sell and you can see right now with $46,000 we are still far away from the stock to flow model price level which is at $31,000 and that means that 
right now you should maybe consider to take a little bit of profits out or at least if you are in a long position to take out some profits there and maybe accumulate more Bitcoin once we're going to see another correction down to the stock to flow model price because last time you can see here in January although we were quite overbought here we were at $40,000 and the stock to flow model price was predicting 26,000 then we had this correction in January down to the stock to flow model price level and from here we bounced again to the upside. Of course it is very dangerous to sell Bitcoin on the way to the upside because at the end we anyway will go way above 100,000. But just if you want to take a little bit of profits out and you never did so far, maybe right now it's not a bad idea to take at least a little bit of profits out and then try to rebuy at around $30,000 if we are seeing a possible correction down to those levels. But overall, I'm not recommending to take too much profits because Bitcoin anyway will go higher and higher here. But if you plan to take a little bit of profits out to have cash on the sideline, then maybe this is not a bad idea to do it right now and rebuy back in once we're gonna touch again here the stock to flow model price level. All right, my friends, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Also, before I gonna close this video, I'm gonna have to select the winner of our $50 uh, giveaway in Prime XPT money. So here, Alex, you are the winner. Please contact me over on uh, Discord so I can send you the free promo code to get $50 for Prime XPT that you can use for trading if you are already in discord then just send me a private message otherwise use the link down below here to access to our great crypto trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description and this of course is also an invitation for all of you out there that are still not members of our great discord trading chat everyone is welcome and it's completely for free when you click the sign up link then just click here on thumbs up to confirm that you are a human and not a bot here on the read first channel and then you can access to our great trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator for a small donation if you're interested in that so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos on bitcoin and ethereum so if you are in the crypto space then you need to be subscribed in this channel so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.